Hello you guys, I hope you are all having a good day today and my name is Natalia. If you're new here, hello. If you're not, welcome back my angels. Today we're going to step into our divine feminine energy because you cannot become a magnet for blessings if you don't already tune in and you're not in your divine feminine energy which is the receiving energy so how can you receive blessings if you're not already allowing yourself to receive this is what we're going to talk about today so you guys without further ado let's get on into the video if you guys have been watching me for a while now which i'm very grateful for so thank you if you really have but if you're new here or if you're not i have started a jewelry business now i sell authentic handmade crystal jewelry like bracelets and earrings so you guys can check that out and if you do then i would really really appreciate that i will link down the link down below to my website it is www.ancientjewels.co.uk so i would just like to mention that if you want to radiate that feminine energy and you want to be in tune with yourself and loving yourself and loving your body because this is your body this is your home this is your vessel and you came here with this and for this lifetime you're going to be in this body so accept it love it literally be in love with your body and no i don't mean masturbate i literally mean love your body like you can caress your arms and just feel how soft your skin is like appreciate yourself because that's what you want okay most of the times when we look for partners we usually look for partners that will give us that love and affection if you don't already give that to yourself then your partner won't if you don't already love and accept yourself then that unacceptance and lack of love within is going to be projected out into your 3d reality and you're going to see people treat you the same way and make you feel the same way you're going to attract like situations that make you feel unaccepted unloved so the key here is literally to look within the only thing the only compass in life that you truly need is your body because your body never lies let go of waiting for a man to save you it is no one's duty to save you that is your own duty if you constantly rely on external sources to make you feel whole to make you feel happy you're never going to be happy because the only happiness you can truly find is within this external reality is just a cherry on top and everything that you get given here or everything that comes into your life is just an add-on if you have people if you have friends if you have anyone that is just a cherry on top. The real work is within. The real world is within. You need to look within. If you don't know how to face your own shadows, then how do you expect to anyone to accept you? Start to face your shadows. Stop chasing and take responsibility for your own life. This is your life, no one else's, so take ownership of it. Being needy is unattractive. Do you really have nothing better to do than sit around for a man to save you or sit around for a man to phone you or call you after a date, whatever? Take a class, take a hobby, literally make new skills, distract yourself, put the energy back onto yourself. No one will give you the same amount of love the way you can give yourself love. Listen to that again. The more you wait around, and you sit in this victim chair the more unattractive that you look and the more needy that you are when you are constantly directing your energy onto others you are repelling by focusing on everything else other than yourself you are stating you cannot be with yourself you're basically stating you also cannot sit with yourself you don't know how to tune in you need to face your shadows in life you need to accept the shadows that you have Everyone has shadows and it is completely normal. It is entirely up to you whether or not you decide to love these shadows. Because at the end of the day, every being, every spirit, every entity, every shadow, every living thing, all it wants is love. 
when we were babies we were pure love and light and happiness that's why some people may say that babies bring joy or you know babies will make us put a smile on your face because it is true babies will bring you joy and make you happy because they radiate that love because that's all they are they're just love we came here on earth we were brought here being pure love but it is life circumstances and situations and traumas and life that created programmings in our minds we created belief systems limiting beliefs we attached the ego formed you know it is all a part of the human process which is completely natural but you also need to al allow yourself to give yourself that love and if you cannot accept the shadow self how are you going to fully accept your whole self face your shadows have the courage to literally speak with your shadow self if you feel the need to do shadow work do shadow work it is a great healing tool shadow work releases a lot of those negative limiting beliefs from your system allows you to bring more light and if you do want to accept yourself if you're on a journey of self-love then in order to try to be pure love and light you have to face those fears you have to accept the darkness within you you have to be non non-judgmental about it and allow it to be and when you fully face this shadow and you kind of become it you are able to transmute it into love and it is the most beautiful thing ever it will be easier for you to tune in with your emotions and that's what the divine feminine is all about it's about tuning in with her emotions it's about being able to come home to this body you know to this vessel and love yourself and be able to you know look at yourself in the mirror with pure love and light and love self-love it is a lot of work it means a lot of dedication and it's commitment because every single day you choose to be love you choose the light instead of the darkness it is very easy to be consumed by the darkness know that confidence is silent and the ego is loud confident people they don't feel the need to brag or tell others how successful they are how happy they are how confident they are because they know it they feel it and they don't feel the need to gain this external validation from people around them to gain this approval because they already approve of it themselves learn to let go of people and understand that everyone is their own individual everyone has their own path you have to allow people to let go if somebody wants to walk away from you let them leave the door open for them but don't have the door open wide when they try to come back in because if they wanted to leave your life they wanted that for a reason maybe you are meant to come back together at some point in life but have those boundaries set those boundaries with yourself and other people have standards literally write down if you don't really have standards write down on a list of paper what you want in your life the standards that you want for yourself and for other people and treat yourself the way you want others to treat you because if you want others to treat you a certain way you have to be able to treat yourself that way too so set those standards for yourself no matter how high or how low they are honestly the higher the better literally the higher the better because if people cannot exceed those standards then they're simply not meant for you so set those boundaries especially with yourself set the boundaries with yourself and for other people once you are able to set standards it is much easier for you to set those boundaries because you know what is right for you what is not for right for you you will be able to walk away from the things that are not giving you the same amount of energy that you're giving it it will be easier for you to say no to things that you don't allow that you don't want in your life that you don't deserve it creates those boundaries and if people cannot accept your boundaries then that's an even bigger sign you should let go of that person you allow yourself to say yes to things even though you know deep down you didn't want to do that you didn't feel like doing that and it's not right for you you are disrespecting your own boundaries. You're disrespecting yourself by saying yes to the things that you know are not right for you. 
So set boundaries with yourself and for other people. Stop procrastinating and do the things you've always said you wanted to do. Procrastination is subconscious fear. So stop procrastinating and just do the things you always wanted to do. Who cares if you fail? Who cares if you look dumb whilst doing it? I don't remember who said this, but it was a quote by somebody and they said, you can't go to prison for being a bad painter. And that is really true. You won't be put in prison for doing something badly, for failing. Why have the mindset of, you know, I won't start because I'm gonna fail? You're never gonna know if you don't start. So start it now. If it doesn't feel right, move on to the next thing. If it feels right, you still don't feel like you have that success. That is okay. Success is not overnight. Success happens over a period of time. And the more important thing is, is that success happens within. If you already feel successful within, you won't feel the need to look for external things to validate to you and show and prove to you that you are actually successful. Because successful people, they know they are successful and that's where they see the success in their reality. Do you see where I'm getting at? So adapt this mentality of already feeling abundant and successful. You cannot fail by looking dumb. You cannot fail by looking stupid or painting the wrong painting. Yeah, you're probably gonna look dumb at the, at the beginning. You're probably gonna feel weird and uncomfortable about these things. That is very normal. When you start new things, it's something new. So you have no expectations. So it's, it's natural to feel awkward or feel not confident in it. But the more that you actually show up for yourself, the more that you keep doing it and you stay consistent with it, the more that you're going to feel confident and it's gonna become this new thing in your life. Being successful, having success is like a relationship because you have to commit to yourself. You have to fully put this energy into yourself. You have to work on yourself. You have to set boundaries with yourself as well. So it's literally like a relationship. It's like another sort of relationship. You really have to be committed and really you know know what it is that you want have those standards have those boundaries know the things that you want and sooner or later they will show up not everyone will like you and that is okay this is something i have also learned on my journey and my friends always used to say to me natalia not everyone is gonna like you and that is okay it is true not everyone's gonna like you and you know what don't take things personally because i know from my own experiences when i shared my success with close friends and close family and i didn't get the the, re the reaction that i expected to get i was very hurt and do you know what i realized it's nothing personal yes that may have stung a little but guess what these people, they were projecting their own insecurities onto my success because they saw that I went for the things that I've always wanted to do. They saw that I was able to succeed at being authentic and doing the things that I loved without fear. Well, I did fear, but without allowing fear to control me. And that triggered them because they knew at some level they could have done that, but they didn't because they chose fear because they chose sitting in this victim chair of being the victim of constantly things happening to them and not for them. Anyone can achieve success. You know, success is a different definition for everyone. And for me, success is literally rooted within because for me, everything happens from within. Nothing will happen for me externally unless I work on it within. And for me, being successful means actually facing my fears not allowing the fear to control me, allowing myself to be authentic and my real self. To me, that's success. And to me, I have succeeded at a lot of things. I've done the things that I told myself, I've disciplined myself, I, st I set standards and boundaries for myself. I let go of all the people that were really negative to me in my life and toxic. And I'm still here and I'm happier than ever. And that is success. I'm happier doing the things that I love because I chose love, I chose myself over wanting this external validation and that is success to me. Obviously for other people success could also mean like material success and yeah I also believe in material success but I believe it still comes from within. If somebody doesn't cele celebrate your successes then 
why should you be with this person and surround yourself with people that are constantly going to put you down and make you feel bad for being successful so think about that and literally analyze the people that you surround yourself with because you don't want to surround yourself with people that are constantly negative and horrible to you and you know they put you down when you're happy and celebrating your success and then you feel bad for being successful and being happy and you know living your life so it really does matter who you also surround yourself with and if you find yourself sometimes feeling a bit low and you don't feel your best do some mirror work literally look at yourself in the mirror and just say I'm successful I'm successful I'm successful I'm successful oh like I'm confident I'm confident <laughs> it's literally making me smile because it just makes me feel good these 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 words they vibrate at a frequency that is high and it makes me feel good it's a high vibrational frequency it makes me feel happy and it puts me in that mood of feeling successful of feeling confident and you know what at first it may feel very weird and very uncomfortable to look at yourself in the eyes and tell yourself that you're successful because maybe you don't feel like it already and that's why you gotta fake it till you make it so tell your fit tell yourself the things that you want to become true if you want to become confident you already don't feel confident you have to start somewhere so start embodying the aff affirmation of i am confident start embodying these new affirmations in your life and i can guarantee you that not long after you see these affirmations you're going to see yourself show up as that person it's literally going to work like magic the universe has unexpected ways of showing us blessings and opportunities so look out for these opportunities if you're always on the lookout for opportunities you will see so many opportunities come to you you're going to be like a magnet so yeah <laughs> guys this is all i had for you today i really hope i got the message across i know that some of you girls watching or guys watching you definitely got the message and yeah, I really, really like this video. It made me feel very powerful and sexy. So I hope this video can infuse you with some of my sexy energy and sexy, confident energy. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you're going to have a good day. And I'm sending you so much love and kisses. Like and subscribe. I'm going to put my website down below. So if you check it out, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Much love. Bye.